Well, what I intend to go through today is a topic that comes up again and again and again. Yeah, we spend a lot of time consulting and in classroom time, and it comes up again and again. How does Oracle actually work? What happens internally when you do DML? Now, why is it that Oracle's mechanisms for crash recovery mean you can't corrupt the database? The reason I think this topic comes up is that as a database administrator, you have to have absolute confidence in the ability of Oracle to survive any disaster, which it can do. And as a database administrator, I believe that. I proved it intellectually and also practically many times. And I've done horrible things to databases. It's impossible to corrupt them. Oracle won't let you do it. Now, as a database administrator, I know that, but I have to be able to pass that knowledge on to other people in the organization, to the developers, to my managers, to other people to motivate the use of the database. And that's very important indeed. You know, we have to be able to convince not only ourselves, but other people that Oracle's mechanisms for the ACID compliance, atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability are absolutely unbreakable. So in this session here, I want to go through how Oracle actually implements this in memory, and on disk when you issue a simple DML statement. Now, the ACID mechanism, atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. These are the principles laid down by Ted Cord back in 1970 when he invented the relational database. Atomicity, a transaction must complete in total or not at all. Consistency, the database must always be presenting a consistent image, consistent as of a moment of time to all the users. Isolation, transaction isolation, until a transaction is committed, it must be completely concealed from all people other than the person doing the transaction himself. And lastly, D for durability, once a transaction is committed, it must never ever be lost. Oracle is famous for its reliability as implementing the ACID at ACID compliance. It's famous for it. That's why people use it. That's why people pay so much money for it. So undo and redo. This is the mechanism that was introduced in the rewrite from release five to release six. And at that point, that I believe made Oracle the premium database products that has yet been developed on the planet. No other vendor has come up with a mechanism that's effective for guaranteeing ACID compliance as Oracle's undo and read.